Grusen Morgan, lads and lassies, and welcome back to the YouTube. So as you can see today, it's a pretty windy day, and to be honest, I was a little bit like, whoa, will I wakeboard, will I not, because it's blowing in an awful direction. But I decided we'll go out, because rule of thumb is that any day wakeboarding is better than no day wakeboarding. And actually, I haven't had the chance to wakeboard. It. <laughs> it's so strong. I haven't been wakeboarding in a little bit too long. So we're gonna go out anyway, and I thought I'd do a little video on some tips about how to wakeboard in the wind. Um, because I know a lot of you don't maybe live in ideal scenarios. We've also got a tiny wake. Um, so the circumstances aren't necessarily the best, but we're still gonna go out and make the use of it. So I'll run you through a couple of little tips that I do find that help a lot, and then hopefully it helps you. Okay, so tip number one is finding the best part in the lake. So as you can see right now, we're in the gust of the wind. Effectively, the wind is coming across the lake. And luckily on this lake, we can wakeboard anywhere on it. There's no kind of restrictions for how close or far you have to be from the shore. And the other big advantage is that it's deep the whole way around. So we don't have to worry about depth. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight into the wind because the chances are the bank on the far side won't be as choppy as it is over here in kind of the middle of the lake. Okay, so we've driven up the lake and it's not ideal here, but it is a lot, lot better. So we're gonna go for a ride here. And that leads me into tip number two, which seems like a silly one, but particularly if you do have a good wake, like on this, it's a bit hit or miss anyway. But if you've got like a nice Centurion or anything like that, if you shorten your rope by maybe two feet, what that does is it brings you a little bit closer and then the wake's a little bit more solid. If you're too far back, when a roller or a wave hits the wake, it can foam a little. So tip number two is just shorten your rope about two feet. Okay, so we're back in and one thing I'll say about wakeboarding in the wind and the rain is it's a lot more exhausting than just going for a nice calm wakeboard. Um, but as you can see, it actually went all right. I mean, it wasn't the best tricks in the world, but I did do a slim chance and a toe back five, which I haven't done them in ages because I've just been riding small wakes. Um, but yeah, I think the most important thing to bear in mind is once you get to the wake, what tends to happen, and it's even better on a big wake, is the wake makes that last foot or two really, really smooth. So the wake tends not to get too bad. Um, I like to use the phrase, when you get to the wake, it's just you and the wake. Uh, but genuinely, so that's one big tip is with these kind of choppy water conditions, the progressive edge is more important than ever. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. And one thing that I haven't actually said, but obviously 
be smart, don't go out in the boat on your own, have two or three people in the boat. And don't, if, it's, if it's too choppy and you think you could hurt yourself, don't try tricks. Um, but it is good to practice, particularly if you're looking at competitions, because the number of times I've showed up to a contest and it's worse than that. And luckily all my days training in Ireland kind of pay off, but generally speaking, just be a little bit smart. But as the sun comes out, say hello, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found the video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.